The University of Melbourne is a public research university located in Melbourne, Australia. Founded in 1853, it is Australia's second oldest university and the oldest in Victoria. Melbourne's main campus is located in Parkville, an inner suburb north of the Melbourne Central Business District, with several other campuses located across Victoria. Melbourne is a sandstone university and a member of the Group of Eight, Universitas 21 and the Association of Pacific Rim Universities. Since 1872 various residential colleges have become affiliated with the university. There are ten colleges located on the main campus and in nearby suburbs offering academic, sporting and cultural programs alongside accommodation for Melbourne students and faculty. Melbourne comprises ten separate academic units and is associated with numerous institutes and research centres, including the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research, Florey Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health, the Melbourne Institute of Applied Economic and Social Research and the Grattan Institute. Amongst Melbourne's 15 graduate schools the Melbourne Business School, the Melbourne Law School and the Melbourne Medical School are particularly well regarded. Times Higher Education ranked Melbourne 32nd globally in 2017-2018, while the academic ranking of world universities places Melbourne 38th in the world both first in Australia, and in the QS World University Rankings 2019 Melbourne ranks 39th globally and ranked 6th in the world according to the 2019 QS graduate graduate employability rankings. Four Australian Prime Ministers and five Governors-General have graduated from the University of Melbourne. Ten Nobel laureates have been students or faculty, the most of any Australian university. The university's coat of arms is a blue shield on which a depiction of «Victory» in white colour holds her laurel wreath over the stars of the Southern Cross. The motto, Postera Crescam Laude, «Later I shall grow by praise» or, more freely, "...we shall grow in the esteem of future generations," is written on a scroll beneath the shield. The Latin is from a line in Horace's Odes, Ego Postera Crescam Laude Reasons. History Foundations of the University The University of Melbourne was established following a proposal by Hugh Childers, the Auditor General and Finance Minister, in his first budget speech on 4 November 1852, who set aside a sum of £10,000 for the establishment of a university. The university was established by Act of Incorporation on the 22nd of January 1853, with power to confer degrees in arts, medicine, laws and music. The Act provided for an annual endowment of £9,000, while a special grant of £20,000 was made for buildings that year. The foundation stone was laid on 3 July 1854, and on the same day the foundation stone for the state library classes commenced in 1855 with three professors and 16 students, of this body of students, only four graduated. The original buildings were officially opened by the Lieutenant Governor of the Colony of Victoria, Sir Charles Hotham, on 3 October 1855. A law school was established in 1857 at the Parkville campus, following which a Faculty of Engineering and School of Medicine were established in 1861 and 1862 respectively. The university's residential colleges were first opened on the northern aspect of the campus in 1872, divided between the four main Christian denominations. The first chancellor, Redmond Barry, later Sir Redmond, held the position until his death in 1880. The inauguration of the university was made possible by the wealth resulting from Victoria's gold rush. The institution was designed to be a civilizing influence. At a time of rapid settlement and commercial growth. In 1881, the admission of women was as seen as victory over the more conservative ruling council. Julia Bella Guerin graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in 1883, and became the first woman to graduate from an Australian university. Topic. 1900s to 1970s 
Early in the 1900s the university expanded its offerings to more utilitarian courses. In 1901 the number of students enrolled at the University of Melbourne exceeded 500 students for the first time. The university established the Diploma of Education in 1903, following negotiations with the Victorian Education Department. Despite the economic depression of the 1890s and the discovery of a significant fraud by a university registrar in 1901, the university continued to expand during this period. This growth included the construction of several buildings between 1900 and 1906. Such growth was facilitated largely through an increased government funding allocation, and the coinciding university-led funding campaign. To accompany the training dentists received by the Melbourne Dental Hospital, a school of dentistry was established to teach the scientific basis of dentistry at the university. Agriculture was established in 1911 following the appointment of the State Director of Agriculture as the first professor. During this period the university became a notable site for research, emerging as a leader in Australia. Following World War II the demand for higher education increased rapidly, and as a result became a transformative period for the university. Topic. 1980s, present Expansion of the university increased significantly during the 1980s and 1990s, as the university amalgamated with a number of tertiary colleges. In 1988 the Melbourne Teachers College was brought into the Faculty of Education, and the amalgamation led to the formation of a distinctly new Faculty of Education. The College of Advanced Education was incorporated into the university in 1989. During this period, more students than ever had before attended the university. The university had expanded its student population to beyond 35,000 students. Such amalgamations continued into the 1990s, with the Victorian College of the Arts affiliation with the University of Melbourne in 1992. This grew the number of campuses for the University of Melbourne, which would now include a new St Kilda Road location. In 2001 the Melbourne School of Population Health was established, the first of its kind in Australia, and continued the growth of the university. Work at the centre involved contributions from a many disciplines, ranging from the social sciences to epidemiology. Health fields such as indigenous, women's, mental, sexual, and rural health have all been researched at the centre. A significant change in curriculum was established in 2008. The newly created model for education was developed, known at the university as the Melbourne Model. In this curriculum model, students firstly undertake a general bachelor degree before specialising in either a professional or research graduate course. The university's 150th anniversary was celebrated in 2003. The Melbourne School of Land and Environment was disestablished on the 1st of January 2015. Its Agriculture and Food Systems Department moved alongside Veterinary Science to form the Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences, while other areas of study, including Horticulture, Forestry, Geography and Resource Management, moved to the Faculty of Science in two new departments. Today over 8,900 academic and professional staff support the more than 52,000 strong student population. The student population consists of more than 13,000 international students, from more than 130 countries. Campuses <coughs> 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 The university has three other campuses in metropolitan Melbourne at Burnley, South Bank, and Werribee. The Burnley campus is where horticultural courses are taught. Performing arts courses are taught at the South Bank campus. Veterinary science is taught at the Werribee campus. In regional Victoria, the Creswick and Dukey campuses are used for forestry and agriculture courses respectively. They previously housed several hundred residential students, but are now largely used for short courses and research. The Shepparton campus is home to the Rural Health Academic Centre for the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences. 
The university is a part owner of the Melbourne Business School, based at Parkville Campus, which ranked 46th in the 2012 Financial Times Global Rankings. Topic. Parkville The Parkville campus is the primary campus of the university. Originally established in a large area north of Grattan Street in Parkville, the campus has expanded well beyond its boundaries, with many of its newly acquired buildings located in the nearby suburb of Carlton. The university is undertaking an ambitious infrastructure program to reshape campuses. The campus was founded in 1853, and is located just north of Melbourne's central business district. Parkville campus has cafes, gyms, 12 libraries, specialty stores, a small supermarket, and a seasonal farmer's market. The campus is located within a broader renowned knowledge precinct, which encompasses eight hospitals, and many other leading research institutes. Several of the earliest campus buildings, such as the Old Quadrangle and Baldwin Spencer buildings, feature period architecture. The new Wilson Hall replaced the original building which was destroyed by fire. The Parkville campus was used extensively to shoot interior and exterior scenes in the MIFF funded The Death and Life of Otto Bloom starring Twilight actor Xavier Samuel and Golden Globe nominee Rachel Ward. Topic. South Bank The Southbank campus is home to the Victorian College of the Arts, and is situated within Melbourne's Creative Arts Precinct. Sound and dance stages, animation studios, visual arts studios, and cinemas are all located at the university's purpose-built Creative Arts home. As of May 2009 the university suspended. The Bachelor of Music Theatre and Puppetry courses at the college and there were fears they may not return under the new curriculum. A 2005 heads of agreement over the merger of the VCA and the university stated that the management of academic programs at the VCA would ensure that the VCA continues to exercise high levels of autonomy over the conduct and future development of its academic programs so as to ensure their integrity and quality and also that the college's identity will be preserved. New Dean Sharman Priti outlined drastic changes under the university's plan for the college in early April 2009. As a result, it is now being called into question whether the university have upheld that agreement. Staff at the college responded to the changes, claiming the university did not value vocational arts training, and voicing fears over the future of quality training at the VCA. Former Victorian Arts Minister Race Matthews has also weighed in on the debate expressing his hope that Melbourne University will not proceed with its proposed changes to the Victorian College of the Arts and for good sense to prevail in 2011 the Victorian state government allocated 24 million dollars to support arts education at the VCA and the faculty was renamed the Faculty of the Victorian College of the Arts and the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music a $200 million major capital works project at the campus is set for completion mid-2020. The project includes then construction of a new state-of-the-art conservatorium for musicians and the conversion of historically important buildings for use as future-ready training facilities. Topic. Burnley The Burnie campus is located within the suburb of Burnley in Melbourne, around 5 km east of the Melbourne CBD. The campus is dedicated to both ornamental and environmental horticulture, and is surrounded by nine hectares of heritage-listed gardens. The campus began operating as a learning precinct in horticultural education in 1891. At the campus, students are offered short courses, associate degrees, postgraduate studies, and research. Specifically, training for urban landscape management, landscape design and production, park management, turf management, nursery and cut flower production, and arboriculture are all specializations of the campus. Topic. 
The Kresik campus is located within the township of Kresik, 120 km northwest of Melbourne. It is situated on 15 hectares of land, and is also connected native and plantation forests. Accommodation is available at the campus to members of the University of Melbourne's student cohorts and teaching staff when engaged at Kresik. Kresik Campus has been offering forest science education since 1910, and is Australia's only dedicated forest ecosystem science campus, which focuses on forest industry, conservation, and molecular biology research. Scientists based at the campus include hydrologists, soil scientists, plant geneticists, geomorphologists, fire scientists, ecologists, engineers, and mathematicians. Topic. Dookie The Dookie campus has been the university's rural home to agriculture and agricultural teaching and learning since its inception in 1886. It is based between Shepparton and Benalla, about 220 km northeast of Melbourne. Dukey Campus is situated on 2,440 hectares of land that houses student and staff accommodation, an orchard, winery, merino sheep, robotic dairy, and a natural bush reserve. Agriculture students are able to access the city campus in addition to a semester at the Dukey Campus. Subjects in agriculture, science, commerce, and environments are available at the campus. Topic. Shepparton The Shepparton Medical Center campus is located in Shepparton, nearly 200 km north of Melbourne. The campus is part of the Melbourne Medical School, and the Shepparton base is home to the Shepparton Rural Clinical School. It provides fully furnished, subsidized, self-catered student on site at the clinical school. The University of Melbourne Shepparton Medical Centre was the first purpose-built teaching clinic in Australia, and services Shepparton and surrounds with comprehensive primary health care. Werribee The Werribee campus is located about 30 km southwest of the city, and is home to research and teaching for the Melbourne Veterinary School. Recently the campus undertook an $63 million Australian dollars redevelopment to enhance facilities for pet treatment and the training of future veterinarians at the University of Melbourne. Victoria's only accredited veterinary course is based at the University of Melbourne, at both the Werribee and Parkville campuses. Kendall Hall offers self-catered accommodation for 76 residents in single bedrooms with shared facilities at the University of Melbourne Werribee campus. Topic. Organization and administration Topic. Governance Governance of the university is grounded in an Act of Parliament, the University of Melbourne Act 2009. The peak governing body is the Council the key responsibilities of which include appointing the Vice-Chancellor and Principal, approving the strategic direction and annual budget, establishing operational policies and procedures and overseeing academic and commercial activities as well as risk management. The Chair of the Council is the Chancellor. The Academic Board oversees learning, teaching and research activities and provides advice to the Council on these matters. The Committee of Convocation represents graduates and its members are elected in proportion to the number of graduates in each faculty. The University of Melbourne's operations are governed through a hierarchy of delegations framework. A 13 member council is the university's governing body. It establishes the university's council, determines its core functions, and allows the university to enact subordinate legislation through statutes and regulations. Under legislative elements associated with the Council, university policies exist as a formal statement of principle to regulate university operations. 
Under university policies, university processes exist to support workplace agreements, policy, and relevant legislation by noting day-to-day -day operation tasks and activities to be performed by staff. The academic board is held responsible to counsel for quality assurance in activities such as the maintenance of high standards in teaching, research and learning. The University of Melbourne Executive is the university's principal management committee. The university consists of academic and administrative structures. University leadership encompasses the Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor and senior executives, whom are responsible for the strategic vision of the university. Topic. Endowment The University of Melbourne has an endowment of approximately $1.335 billion, the largest of any Australian tertiary institution. However, Australian endowments are relatively small compared with those of the wealthiest U.S. universities. The university's endowments recovered after hardship following the 2008 Great Recession, which shrank its investments by 22%. This required restructuring of the university, including cutting of some staff, largely through redundancies and early retirements. A further round of cuts, driven by lingering concerns about finances and declining federal contributions to the tertiary sector, took place under the Business Improvement Program (BIP) from 2014 to 16 and involved another 500 jobs. Under former Vice Chancellor Professor Glyn Davis, the university launched Believe, the campaign for the University of Melbourne publicly in 2013. The campaign's goal was to raise $500 million by the end of 2017. With more than 20,000 international donors, the university reached its target two years ahead of schedule. In March of 2016, then Vice Chancellor Professor Glyn Davis launched the second phase of the campaign. Phase 2 aims to raise a total of $1 billion by 2021, and to engage 100,000 alumni in the process. Topic faculties and present deans The University of Melbourne is divided into ten faculties, which encompass all major departments of both research and teaching. Faculty of Architecture, Building and Planning, Professor Julie Willis. Faculty of Arts, Professor Russell Goldborn. Faculty of Business and Economics, Co-Deans, Professor Paul Kaufman and Professor Ian Harper. Melbourne Graduate School of Education, Professor Jim Waterston. Melbourne School of Engineering, Professor Mark Cassidy. Faculty of Fine Arts and Music, Professor Barry Conningham. Melbourne Law School, Professor Pitt Nicholson. Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences, Professor Shittij Kapoor. Faculty of Science, Professor Karen Day. Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences, Professor John Fazakli. Topic. Academic profile Topic. Admissions The university has 11 academic units, some of which incorporate a graduate school. The overall attrition and retention rates at the university are the lowest and highest respectively in Australia. The university has one of the highest admission requirements in the country, with the median ATAR of its undergraduates being 94.05 2009. Furthermore, the university continued to attract outstanding students, for example, 50% of the Premier's VCE top all-round high achievers enrolled at the University of Melbourne, for domestic applications, an Australian tertiary admission rank ATAR, is generally required for bachelor degrees. For undergraduate degrees in 2019, guaranteed entry scores into degrees were Agriculture 70 Arts 85, Biomedicine 96 Commerce 94, Design 85 Science 85, Oral Health 85 Indicative only, Fine Arts and Music were not applicable, Domestic applicants who have a disadvantaged financial background, are from rural or isolated areas, are from underrepresented schools, experienced difficult circumstances, have a disability or medical 
condition, are from a non-English speaking background, identify as an Indigenous Australian, or are applying through a non-school leaver entry pathway may be eligible for the Access Melbourne program. The program offered guaranteed entry in 2019 for students with ATARs of Arts 80 Biomedicine 92, Commerce 88, Design 78, and Science 78. Minimum international baccalaureate diploma scores for undergraduate guaranteed entry were Agriculture 25, Arts 31, Biomedicine 38, Commerce 36, Design 31, Science 31, Oral Health 31, Indicative only, Fine Arts and Music were not applicable. Topic: Teaching and Learning. The University of Melbourne is unlike any other university in Australia so far as it offers nine generalised three-year degrees instead of more traditional specialised undergraduate degrees Bachelor of Arts Bachelor of Agriculture Bachelor of Biomedicine Bachelor of Commerce Bachelor of Design Bachelor of Fine Arts Bachelor of Music Bachelor of Oral Health Bachelor of Sciences Bachelor of Design was a new addition that began in 2017, this corresponded with the closure of the Bachelor of Environments 2008-2016, which was controversially axed in 2016 against the wishes of several participating departments wishing to retain an environmental focus. The change from the former curriculum, which offered many single and joint degrees, is often described as the Melbourne model, and was implemented under the leadership of Vice-Chancellor Glyn Davis in 2008. The university also offers postgraduate courses including professional entry master's degrees that follow undergraduate courses with greater specialization in the early 2000s, which offers an innovative cross-faculty environmental master's degree as of 2007. Melbourne University aimed to offer 75% of graduate places as HECS, with the remaining 25% paying full fees. A number of professional degrees are available only for graduate entry. These degrees are at a master's level according to the Australian Qualification Framework, but are named «master's» or «doctorate» following the practice in North America. Various groups, including trade and student unions, academics, and some students have expressed criticism of the Melbourne model, citing job and subject cuts, and a risk of «dumbing down» content. A group of students also produced a satirical musical regarding the matter. The model has been subject to internal review, with the shift from the B environments to B design being one result. Topic. Rankings Times Higher Education ranked Melbourne 32nd globally first nationally in the 2017–2018 iteration of its annual World University Rankings. In the QS World University Rankings 2019, the University of Melbourne was ranked 39th globally, second in Australia. In 2019, it ranked 31st among the universities around the world by Simago Institutions Rankings. In the most recent CWTS Leiden Ranking, Melbourne was ranked 33rd in the world, second nationally. The university was ranked 38th globally first in, Australia in the 2018 publication of the Academic Ranking of World Universities ARWU, League Table. According to QS World University Subject Rankings 2015, the University of Melbourne is ranked 5th in the world for education, 8th in law, 13th in computer science and IT, 13th in arts and humanities, 14th in accounting and finance, 14th in dentistry and 18th in medicine. Topic. Research Melbourne University claims that its research expenditure is second only to that of the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation 
The university is a leading Australian research university, with the largest cohort of research students in Australia. The performance ranking of scientific papers for world universities is released by National Taiwan University NTU ranking, and placed the University of Melbourne as the 29th highest internationally, and first domestically in 2018. It evaluates the performance of scientific papers, and the indicators used are designed to compare both the quantity and quality of published scientific works by each university. Similarly, the Center for World University Rankings CWUR, ranks universities on variables including both research output, and citations. For 2018-19 it ranked the University of Melbourne at number 57 in the world, and number one within Australia. The university is connected to more than 100 research centres and institutes. In 2010 the university spent $813 million on research. In the same year the university had the highest numbers of Federal Government Australian Postgraduate Awards APA, and International Postgraduate Research Scholarships IPRS, as well as the largest totals of Research Higher Degree RHD, student load 3,222 students and RHD completions 715. Topic. Entrepreneurship and innovation The Melbourne Entrepreneurial Centre is the university's entrepreneurial arm. MEC offers students, alumni and the general public access to the entrepreneurial opportunities available at the university including hackathons, accelerators, pitch nights, master classes, workshops, and programs. The MEC overarches the Melbourne Accelerator Program MAP, Translating Research at Melbourne TRAM, and the Wade Institute of Entrepreneurship. Topic. Melbourne Accelerator Program Since its inception in 2012, MAP has evolved into a program that hosts a range of public events, workshops and feeder programs to help upskill and connect entrepreneurs of all stages. The best startups on campus are awarded access to the MAP Startup Accelerator. In 2014, MAP was one of two Australian university accelerators that have been named in a global list of top 25 university incubators produced by University Business Incubator Index. The first MAP cohort in 2012 includes Blue Sky, 121 Cast, Venumob, and New Wave Power Systems. Notably, Blue Sky managed to enter the finals of the Star Trek Online Retail Industry Awards 2014 for Best Mobile Shopping App against large Australian e-commerce incumbents including the iconic and 121 cast signed a large content partnership contract with Southern Cross Osterio. MAP student founders have collectively raised over $5.6 million in funding, created more than 60 jobs and generated over $1 million in revenue. They tackle big problems across a range of industries, from medical devices and hardware, to financial technology, web solutions, e-commerce and software. Topic. Translating research at Melbourne Tram. Translating Research at Melbourne Tram, is the University of Melbourne's research-based accelerator program. The program launched in 2016, and has seen more than 11 teens complete the program with many reaching commercial success. It offers university and affiliated researchers an opportunity to commercialize their research-based product or service through boot camps and a dedicated training program. Topic. Wade Institute of Entrepreneurship Wade Institute of Entrepreneurship is the university's hub for entrepreneurial training. The institute is home to the University of Melbourne's Master of Entrepreneurship, in addition to other programs, events, and custom masterclasses. The institute is based at Ormond College, one of the university's residential colleges. Topic. Libraries. 
The University of Melbourne's libraries have over 3 million visitors performing 42 million loan transactions every year. The general collection comprises over 3.5 million items including books, DVDs, photographic slides, music scores and periodicals as well as rare maps, prints and other published materials. The library also holds over 32,000 e-books, hundreds of databases and 63,000 general and specialist journals in digital form. The Architecture, Building and Planning Library the Architecture, Building and Planning Library is located on the ground floor of the Melbourne School of Design Building located on Parkville campus. Its collection consists primarily of works related to the faculty, including works of individual architects and firms, building types, and local history. <laughs> Bailey Library the Bailey Library is the largest library on Parkville campus, and was opened in 1959. At that time, the library was Australia's first purpose-built university library. The collections at this library supports learning, teaching, and research. Useful for students, academics, and researchers alike, the Bailey is purpose-built for the Faculty of Arts, encompassing both social sciences and humanities. Topic. Brownless Biomedical Library The Brownless Biomedical Library is located within the Parkville campus behind the Medical Building, on the Grattan – Royal Parade perimeter of the campus. The library offers access to print and online collections including the Medical History Museum. Additionally, access to room and computer bookings, borrowing, printing, photocopying, scanning, and research consultations are all offered by the library. Brownless Biomedical Library has a veterinary science collection in the areas of anatomy, physiology, microbiology, pharmacology, and animal health. Topic: <laughs> Burnley Science Library. The Burnley Science Library is located at the Burnley campus and offers specialist resources for teachers and researchers, with collections on horticulture and the plant sciences. The library provides a user-focused experience which invites student collaboration and study. It services the students of horticulture, and staff and researchers from the School of Ecosystem and Forest Science. A general books collection, laboratories for fundamental research collection, reference collection, reserve collection, periodicals collection, rare books collection, videos collection, and compactus containing theses are available at the library. The services on offer at the library include, borrowing, membership, renewals, inter-library loans, inter-campus loans, Caval and National Borrowing Scheme, Reserve, Bonus Plus Borrowing Scheme, Disability Services, Reference Appointments, Reference Inquiries, and Student IT Support. Dookie Library the Dookie Library is located at the Dookie campus and offers a specialist collection tailored to the Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences. Its collection includes books, periodicals and audiovisual collections. The collection covers areas of general agriculture, animal, plant and crop science, water resources, and wine and viticulture. Services on offer at the Dookie Library are borrowing, membership, renewals, inter-library loans inter-campus loans, Caval and National Borrowing Scheme, Reserve, Bonus Plus Interstate Borrowing Scheme, Exam Papers, Reference Appointments, and Reference Inquiries. Topic. Eastern Resource Centre The Eastern Resource Center ERC, is located on the east side of the Parkville campus, close to Grattan and Swanston Streets. Its collection supports the needs of undergraduates, postgraduates, and researchers in both the Melbourne School of Engineering and the Faculty of Science. 
Its collections encompass science and engineering, reference collections, East Asian collection, a map collection, high-use collection, science engineering journal collections, and DVDs and other media. The ERC includes a collection of resources for general agriculture, plant, animal and crop science, water resources, and wine and viticulture. A full range of services are offered at the Eastern Resource Center such as Bonus Plus Borrowing Scheme, Borrowing, Caval and National Borrowing Scheme Membership, High Use Collection, Inter-Campus Loans, Inter-Library Loans, Membership, Photocopying and Printing, Project Rooms, Renewals, Research Consultations, Student PCs, and Disability Services. Topic. Giblin Yunsen Library The Giblin Yunsen Library is located within the Faculty of Business and Economics building at the university's Parkville campus. It is home to the Faculty of Business and Economics as well as the Education Faculty. Broadly, the Giblin Yunsen Library offers project rooms, research consultations, e learning studios, bonus plus borrowing schemes, borrowing, caval, and national borrowing scheme membership, inter campus loans, inter library loans, renewals, high use collection, membership, printing and scanning, student IT support, and student PCs. For education students, the collection offers school-level textbooks, picture books, junior fiction, children's literature award winners, kit collection, DVDs, videocassettes, CDs, CDROMs, pictures and posters, journals, references, and education theses. Extensive research databases are accessible for business and economics students including academic journals, company databases, industry databases, country databases, and news databases. Law Library The Law Library is located on Levels 3, 4, and 5 of the Melbourne Law School at the University's Parkville campus. It is home to the Melbourne Law School. The mission of the Law Library is to support learning and teaching at the Melbourne Law School MLS, and to support academic research. The library offers research tools that include authorized law reports, Australian case citated comparison, deep linking information, keeping up to date in law, legal abbreviations, legal citation style guides, reference management, style guides for authors, and theses advice. The catalog of books at the library encompasses new books, a rare book collection, past exams and readings online, and a digital repository. Topic. Science Kresik Library The Science Kresik Library is located at the Kresik campus and offers a specialist collection for the School of Ecosystem and Forest Science. The services on offer at the library include, borrowing, memberships, renewals, inter-library loans, inter-campus loans, caval and national borrowing scheme, reserve, bonus plus borrowing scheme, reference appointments, and reference inquiries. Its collections include monographs, periodical collection, and the Kresik Special Collection. Areas covered in the collection are forest and plantation hydrology, community forestry, fire ecology and management, forest industries and wood products, forests, climate change and greenhouse research, native forest ecology and restoration, tree developmental biology and forest biotechnology, tree plantations and health, and tree ecophysiology. Topic. South Bank Library The South Bank Library supports the Faculty of Fine Arts and Music at the South Bank campus. It is a new library, that reopened in February 2019 following the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music moving the majority of its programs to the campus in the same year. Services offered at the South Bank Hub, the home of the South Bank Library, include academic skills, bookable spaces and computers, careers and employability, counseling and psychological services, course planning, creative art therapies, research consultations, scholarships, study overseas, study equity and disability support, student health checks and student IT. 
Services offered at the library specifically include reference inquiries, research consultations, borrowing and renewals, membership for alumni and members of the public, inter-library loans, inter-campus copy service, Caval and National Borrowing Scheme, High Use Collections, Bonus Plus Borrowing Scheme, Disability Support Services, and Copying and Scanning. Topic. Veterinary Science Library Werribee The Veterinary Science Library Werribee is based at the university's Werribee campus, and supports teaching, learning and research activities of those within the faculty. Generally the library collects in the areas of surgery, pathology and parasitology. Services offered at the library include borrowing, membership, renewals, inter-library loans, inter-campus loans, bonus plus borrowing scheme, and printing and scanning. Topic. Museums Topic. Granger Museum The Granger Museum is located at the university's Parkville campus, and is the only purpose-built autobiographical museum in Australia. It is home to a diverse collection of over 100,000 items including photographs, costumes, art, music scores and instruments. The items were acquired by Percy Granger, an icon in 20th century Australian musical culture. Topic. Harry Brooks Allen Museum of Anatomy and Pathology The Harry Brooks Allen Museum of Anatomy and Pathology, located at the Parkville campus, is one of Australia's largest collections of both historical anatomical models and real human tissue specimens. It provides students at the University of Melbourne educational resources for the medical and related anatomical disciplines. The museum is not normally open to the public, though tours of the museum are available for medical students and health professionals. Topic. Henry Foreman Atkinson Dental Museum The Henry Foreman Atkinson Dental Museum is located at the Melbourne Dental School on the Parkville campus. It is the oldest dental collection in Australia, with over 3,500 objects, photographs, documents, and catalogues. The museum aims to inspire, engage, and educate audiences about the changes in dentistry through time, and is unique in Australia due to its age and comprehensiveness. Topic. Ian Potter Museum of Art The Ian Potter Museum of Art is located at the university's Parkville campus, and is the university's art museum. Since being founded in 1972, the museum has hosted more than 500 exhibitions. The Potter's collection exceeds 16,000 objects, with works ranging from antiquity to contemporary art. Exhibitions and associated programs have supported artists, curators, academics and writers in contributing to the university community as well as the City of Melbourne, and State of Victoria more broadly. Topic. Margaret Lawrence Gallery The Margaret Lawrence Gallery is located at the university's Southbank campus in the heart of Melbourne's Arts Precinct. It provides a space for members of the Victorian College of the Arts community to showcase new work, playing an educational role for the institution. The gallery was opened in 2001 to link the Victorian College of the Arts with the University of Melbourne, and to the wider communities of Victorian and National Arts. The space facilitates and encourages connections between professional artists, academics, students, and the wider public. Topic. Medical History Museum The Medical History Museum is located within the Brownless Biomedical Library at the University's Parkville campus. 
The purpose of the museum is to encourage appreciation and understanding of the history of medicine and its role in society by facilitating direct engagement with its collections. Exhibitions and educational programs are offered by the museum to encourage inquiry in the medical field. Topic: Knoll Shaw Gallery. The Knoll Shaw Gallery is located within the Bailey Library at the university's Parkville campus. It opened in 2014 following a bequest by university alumna Dr. Noel Shaw. Each year two exhibitions are presented in the Noel Shaw Gallery, which focus on the opportunities for curriculum engagement. Ed Muirhead Physics Museum The Ed Muirhead Physics Museum is located at the university's Parkville campus in the School of Physics building. The museum is named in honor of Associate Professor Ed Muirhead, who was the chairman of the School of Physics from 1980 to 1986, and initiated the museum during that time. The collection comprises items that are of historical and scientific interest, predominantly scientific apparatus constructed by former professors and staff for research purposes. DAX Center The DAX Center is located at the University's Parkville campus in the Kenneth Meyer Building. The center is named after Dr. Eric Cunningham Dax, who pioneered the use of art to promote clinical insights and mental health improvements. The center is a leader in the use of art in raising awareness and reducing the stigma associated with mental illness. Exhibitions and educational programs hosted by the Center seek to engage, inform, and encourage community connections and conversations about mental health. The DAX Center consists of educational programs and a gallery space and also houses the Cunningham DAX Collection. Teagues Museum the Teagues Museum is located at the university's Parkville campus in the Biosciences Building. The museum hosts a collection of zoological specimens accumulated over 120 years, and is named after the former professor and faculty dean, Oscar Teagues. Specimens included in the collection range from small invertebrates to the whole mounts and skeletons of vertebrates including an African lion, and a moa, an extinct emu-like bird from New Zealand. Topic. Buxton Contemporary Buxton Contemporary is an art museum located at the university's Southbank campus, in Melbourne's Arts Precinct. The museum was opened in 2018, and comprises four public exhibition galleries, teaching facilities, and an outdoor screen for moving image art. The museum was the result of a gift to the university by the art collector and property developer Michael Buxton. Topic. Science Gallery Science Gallery Melbourne will open in 2020 at the university's Parkville campus, and explores the collision between art and science. The gallery forms part of the Global Science Gallery Network, and intends to provide a new model for engaging 15- to 25-year-olds with science. It forms part of a new innovation precinct being developed by the university. Topic. Student life Topic. Residential colleges Main article, category, Residential Colleges of the University of Melbourne Melbourne University currently has 10 residential colleges in total, seven of which are located in an arc around the Cricket Oval at the northern edge of the campus, known as College Crescent. The other three are located outside of university grounds. Trinity College, 1872 present, Ormond College, 1881 present, Janet Clark Hall, 1886 present, 
Queen's College, 1887 present, Newman College, 1918 present, St. Mary's College, 1918 present, Medley Hall, 1954 present, University College, 1937 present, International House, 1957 present, St. Hilda's College, 1964 present. The residential colleges aim to provide accommodation and holistic education experience to university students. Most of the university's residential colleges also admit students from RMIT University and Monash University, Parkville Campus, with selected colleges also accepting students from the Australian Catholic University and Victoria University. Graduate House 1972, is a residential college for graduates located in Parkville's Graduate Precinct, which began its affiliation with the university in 1972. Whitley College 1965 was a former college of the university, though was sold to redeveloper in 2016. Ridley College 1965 was an affiliated residential college of the University of Melbourne and was the first college of the university to be co-residential for men and women. Topic. Faculty clubs and societies Main article, University of Melbourne Student Organisations Clubs and societies offered by the university range from cultural, course-related, political, language exchange, spiritual, and community focuses. There are currently over 200 clubs affiliated to the University of Melbourne Student Union, with the total membership exceeding 25,000. There are currently more than 100 groups affiliated with the Graduate Student Association GSA, with the total membership of the GSA exceeding 36,000 students. Specific faculty-based clubs and societies are also offered at the university. Melbourne Arts Students Society is the largest faculty club on campus, with over 2,000 members the primary aim of the society is to facilitate a greater interaction amongst students in the Faculty of Arts. Within the Faculty of Business and Economics, a range of faculty-affiliated clubs and societies are offered including Commerce Students Society, Banking on Women, and Actuarial Students Society. The Environments and Design faculty offer clubs and societies including Students of Landscape Architecture, Melbourne University Planning Student Society, and Built Industry Group. A diverse range of clubs and societies are offered within the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences including Interprofessional Education and Health Students Network, Melbourne Dental Students Society, and University of Melbourne Medical Students Society. Within the Faculty of Science, a number of science-related clubs and societies are offered including the Science Students Society, Astronomical Society, and Big Data Analysis Club. Melbourne Law School supports a number of student clubs and societies that provide services and activities including the Law Students Society, Global Law Students Association, and the Public Interest Law Network. Topic. Student unions and associations Main article, University of Melbourne Student Union There are two student organisations within the University of Melbourne, the University of Melbourne Student Union, and the Graduate Student Association. The University of Melbourne Student Union, formerly known as the Student Union was founded in 1884. Originally, it was formed to promote common interests of students, to assist social interactions between members, and provide resources for pursuing public life. The union's mission is to create a quality experience on campus by establishing a community for students, staff and visitors from a range of backgrounds and experiences. The Graduate Student Association GSA, is an independent association that automatically provides all enrolled graduate students at the university with support, representation, events, and training. Some features of the GSA include welcoming students to the graduate school with orientation events, hosting an annual art prize, and a formal graduate ball. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Communities. The University of Melbourne has a range of communities available for all students including for students queer and questioning, for students with special needs, and for those connected to Indigenous communities. The Queer Department is responsible for the queer community on campus, offering a space for the myriad of gender and sexual expressions that exist within the university. Run by the Student Union, the department arranges events including lunches and collectives, as well as offering a coming out support group. The Disabilities Department is responsible for making university life more enjoyable and accessible for all students. A range of events are held each semester aimed at fostering a sense of community, and educating the broader public about both disability and mental health. Events and offerings include an anxiety support group, mindfulness workshops, social nights, and free resources and advice. Murat Barak is the Melbourne Institute for Indigenous Development. The purpose of the group is to assist Indigenous Australians who join the university community as either students or employees. The vision of Murat Barak is to establish the University of Melbourne as a leader in Indigenous development and respectful in its engagement with Indigenous peoples. Its mission is to build the capacity of the University of Melbourne to advance the success of its Indigenous Australian agenda. The group undertakes Indigenous student outreach work which provides advice about pathways, applying, enrolling and starting at the university. Murat Barak's Indigenous Success Team delivers a range of culturally safe services and programs for Indigenous students. Such programs and services encompass a range of elements relating to student life such as starting university, community and cultural engagement, general well-being, financial assistance, housing services, global mobility, and academic goals and support. Topic. Melbourne University Sport Sport at the University of Melbourne is overseen by Melbourne University Sport, Mu Sport which is a department of the university. The department provides the management of all sports, fitness and recreation facilities, programs and activities of the university. Mu Sport also manages the university's designated entry scheme for elite athletes. Membership to the Melbourne University Sport Fitness Centre is open to University of Melbourne students, staff, alumni, and the greater community at large for those above the age of 17. The university has participated in various sports in its history and has 39 affiliated clubs. Sport is overseen by Melbourne University Sport. The Melbourne University Sports Union was the predecessor to the current Melbourne University Sports Association. Since its inception, the aim of the union and now the association is to provide a collective voice for all affiliated sporting clubs on the university campus. In 2004, the Melbourne University Sports Association celebrated its centenary. Melbourne University Sport offers access to a range of sporting clubs Akikido, athletics, badminton, baseball, basketball, boat, cheerleading, cricket, cycling, dance sport, dragon boat, fencing, men's football, women's football, futsal, gridiron, hockey, inline, karate, kendo, lacrosse, mountaineering, netball, quidditch, rugby union, skiing, snowboarding, soccer, softball, squash, surf riding, swimming, table tennis, Taekwondo Ri, Taekwondo WTF, Tai Chi and Wushu, Tennis, Touch Football, Underwater, Scuba, Ultimate Frisbee, Volleyball, Water Polo, Water Ski and Wakeboard, and Weightlifting and Powerlifting. The Melbourne University Lacrosse Club MULC, was established in 1883 and is the oldest continually operational lacrosse club in the world. The Melbourne University Cycling Club MUCYC, is associated with Cycling Australia and competes regularly at local and national races. In 2008 MUCYC won its seventh consecutive August Championship 2002 
The Melbourne University Tennis Club was one of the original five, five clubs established for the students and staff of the university, with various tennis competitions and social tennis events held on campus as early as 1882. The facilities that the University of Melbourne offers include a gym, fitness programs, group fitness classes, cardio theatre, strength zone, group cycling studio, mind body studio, cardio box studio, two multi purpose stadiums, indoor heated 25 meters lap pool, personal training studio, group fitness room, squash courts, and change rooms. Topic: People. Topic: Vice Chancellors. Duncan Maskell, the 1st of October 2018 present. Glyn Davis, the 10th of January 2005 to the 30th of September 2018. Hong Li Dao, the 1st of February 2004 to the 9th of January 2005. Alan Gilbert, the 1st of January 1996 to the 31st of January 2004. David Pennington, the 1st of January 1988 to the 31st of December 1995. David Caro, the 1st of June 1982 to the 31st of December 1987. Sir David Durham, the 1st of March 1968 to the 31st of May 1982. Sir George Patton, the 1st of July 1951 to the 29th of February 1968. Sir John Medley, the 1st of July 1938 to the 1st of July 1951. Sir Raymond Priestley, the 1st of January 1935 to the 30th of June 1938. Sir James Barrett, the 7th of December 1931 to the 17th of December 1934. Sir John Monash, the 2nd of July 1923 to the 8th of October 1931. Sir John Grice, the 6th of May 1918 to the 18th of June 1923. Sir John McFarland, the 7th of March 1910 to the 8th of April 1918. Sir Henry Rickson, the 20th of December 1897 to the 7th of March 1910. Sir John Madden, the 3rd of June 1889 to the 20th of December 1897. Martin Irving, the 2nd of May 1887 to the 27th of May 1889. Sir Anthony Brownless, the 31st of May 1858 to the 4th of April 1887. William Hines, the 15th of May 1857 to the 31st of May 1858. Hugh Childers, the 17th of May 1853 to the 12th of March 1857. Topic: Nobel laureates. Many Nobel laureates have taught, studied and researched at the University of Melbourne. Graduates include Professor Elizabeth Blackburn, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2009. Sir John Eccles, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 1963. Sir Frank McFarlane Burnett, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 1960. Professor Joshua Lederberg, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, 1958. Lord Howard Florey, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, 1945. Sir James Merlees, Nobel Prize in Economic Science, 1996. Professor Bert Sackman, Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, 1991. Topic. Notable alumni The University of Melbourne has produced many notable alumni, with graduates having held the offices of Governor-General of Australia, Governor of Victoria, Prime Ministers of Australia, Justices of the High, Federal, Family and Victorian Supreme Courts, Premiers of Victoria and elected leaders of other states and territories, Nobel laureates, a First Lady of East Timor, Ministers of Foreign Countries, Lord Mayors, academics, architects, historians, poets, philosophers, politicians, scientists, 
scientists, physicists, authors, industry leaders, defense force personnel, corporate leaders, community leaders, as well as numerous artists. See also List of universities in Australia NICTA, National Information and Communication Technology Research Centre, co-supported by Melbourne University University of Melbourne Academic Dress Victorian School of Forestry Victorian Students Aid Programme